Well, hello YouTube. Welcome to Computer Tech TV. In this uh, episode of Tech News, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the new 6 Series from ATI. And uh, from those you have not heard, uh, I got some specifications here on a website that I found that was just posted uh, Tuesday, October 19th. So it's pretty relative. And uh, these are leaked specs, so... You know, they this could be what they are. This could be, you know, slightly different. They could be, you know, a variation of of these specifications. You know what I mean? Once the aftermarket gets a hold of it, then you know things will change a lot. You know, with coolers and the reference design of the card, and the amount of memory on the card, and then the overclocked versions they'll offer. So basically, let's go in and uh, let you guys know here. And I'm actually over here looking at my computer screen. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, because I can't remember all these uh, specifications. So basically, the we're looking at the 6870. It's going to feature 1120 stream processors, 32 ROPs, 56 TMUs, 256-bit GDDR5 memory interface with one gig of RAM, which is going to be the standard. I guess that's going to be the lowest that these cards are going to feature. And I think both of the 6870 and the 6850 both will have the same type of memory, just running at different speeds. Uh, clock speeds are set to 900 megahertz on the core and 4200 megahertz effective on the memory. Uh, basically, looking at the power here, idle and max board power is 19 watts idle and 151 watts max load for the 6870. I, I think that's pretty good, honestly. I mean, for as fast as these cards are and or I should say how fast they're going to be since they haven't been released. Uh, 151 watts, you know, at full load. That's not bad at all. Uh, it's just if the heat if the heat sinks and the coolers that they build for these cards can keep them cool. That's the biggest deal, and I think that's where um, the aftermarkets will benefit. You know, the faster the cards get, they're going to have to build uh, better coolers, and the cooler they can get them, the more people are going to want to buy theirs because they don't want their card to run at 100 Celsius or shut down or you know, basically die because too much heat. So, um, for the 6850, we're looking at 960 stream processors, a little bit less, but still quite a bit, uh, 32 ROPs, 48 TMUs, a 256-bit GDDR5 memory interface with 1 gigabyte of RAM, uh, and the clock speeds are going to be set to 775 on the core, and 1,000 quad pumped, 4,000 megahertz uh, effective on the memory. And the power idle and load for that card is going to be 19 watts, same as the 6870, and then 127 watts for uh, peak power. Which, then again, you know, like I said, that's not bad either. Uh, these cards are both going to be very, very powerful. And I would like to own one, but I probably won't. I'm, I've had one ATI card in my life, and it was an X1300. So if that tells you anything. Um, but yeah, it should be very interesting to see you know, what the performance and everything will be of these cards. And uh, if you guys want any more information, you know, I might be able to look some stuff up and you know, take, take some time, basically, because that's you know, what I do, making videos to help you guys out. So... I just want to make this video just to let anybody know that, that didn't see the other videos that might have been posted on YouTube already. You know, all my subscribers, uh, you know, the 6800 series is coming out, I think, Friday, I believe I heard. So that should be interesting. Uh, if nothing happens, we'll uh, see how it goes. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. 